Hi guys, I um, don't know if this work is working, um, hopefully it works. I uh, just wanted to show um, everybody how to make a really easy shepherd's costume since it's that time of year. So here's one I made earlier. Okay. So cute. So easy. You will not believe it. Um, lots of parents have decided that they are buying the costumes for their little ones. Um, but we like to make costumes. So we're going to make one. Um, here is what you will need. A long sleeve vest. Um, preferably one that fits your child. Um, a pillowcase. Any colour, um, whatever colour you decide. We went for brown. Okay, just a regular size pillowcase. We got this from a charity shop, 50p, easy. Um, some contrasting fabric um, to make the shawl. We picked up scarves. Again, a charity shop, one pound. Brand new scarf. And then a third colour of fabric for the headdress. Those are your basic items. Then we've got needle and thread, fabric only scissors, and some hemming tape. Okay, let's get started. So easy. Okay, so we start out with our pillowcase. Now, I tend to turn things inside out just in case. Um, we don't want things getting ruined, getting marks on them. So, we have the top of the pillowcase here and the bottom of the pillowcase there. If we lay the pillowcase down, just scooch back, hopefully you can see that. Um, take your little one's vest and just lay it in the center of the pillowcase. Hopefully you can see that just there. Take your fabric scissors and a little snip in the middle there and snip outwards. If you go just past the neckline um, on both sides, just a simple cut there. Okay, move away your vest. It's easier if I cut away from me. And then just make a cut straight down the middle. Okay. If you can, hopefully you can see this, it folds out like so. You can make it a little bit longer, which I'm going to do, just so it fits the neck a bit better. So you don't have to put any fastenings or anything on it because that can be a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare. Hi Julie, how are you? Hope you're well. Okay, so this is how we have it so far. Easy peasy. Next we want the armholes so if we take our little one's vest again lay it back over the middle and have a look at where if we spread the arms out look at where the sleeves come out to and we want to snip above and below where the arms come to and if we literally just cut this hem out just get rid of this hem you don't need to go any further back, just cut that bit entirely off. And if you just measure it on the other side, so you know you're cutting out the same amount. If you turn down the top, let's just move that, turn down the top, you know you've got the same distance from the shoulder. And then simply snip. There you go, there are your armholes and your robe is pretty much done. Um, you can remove the envelope flap if you like, it just reduces the bulk. If you just leave a bit of a gap so you don't have an untidy edge and then you can press that later on with hemming tape, really easy to do. 
Okay, so we just chop that off, and as you can see, I've left a bit of an edge, so you can just iron that down with some hemming tape. And then what we do is we just turn it through, and these bits where the collar is, if we just fold those out, and again, press them flat, and a little bit of hemming tape, if you just put those on either side, just a little bit either side, and that one's good to go. Next, we need our scarf or our contrasting fabric. Okay, we want to fold that in half. It's quite long, this one which is absolutely fine. So we're going to make kind of um, a shawl, I suppose, um, in contrasting fabric. Again, if we just lay out our vest, find the centre of the scarf and just put that in the centre of the vest, just so you know you've got it on straight and it's not going to go crooked, if I can get this open. Okay. So we've got that in the middle, as you can see, and again we want to come down from the neckline about two inches maybe, and just make a snip. This can be a rough hole, that's absolutely fine. Just cut down a few inches, and the same on the other side, let's just make sure that lines up easily. Okay. Right, so two holes there. That's literally all you need to do for that. You might need to lengthen the holes a little bit, which is easy to do. Okay, as you can see, nice little waistcoat jacket type thing. Lovely. And then, oh, we drop this. The contrasting fabric, any colour. Um, it can match the robe, it can towel if you want. But if we just take, first of all we want to take a really thin strip right off the edge. Okay, so if we just fold it and cut right the way across. You can also use t-shirt fabric for this. Um, jersey fabric is really good and stretchy. We just pull it and it makes a nice rope piece. Okay, and that will be your belt and then if we just take another piece of this um, not too long a um, couple of inches and again it can be completely rough it doesn't have to be perfect just chop that and there is your headdress so you literally that just goes on the head tuck it behind their ears and it folds over like this. Ooh, quite like this look. What do you think? Very fetching. <laughs> and there you go. That is literally it. If I just put this together just to demonstrate, I have a. Do I have a hanger? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. Vest on the hanger. Okay. Pillowcase, robe, oh, make sure it's the right way around. Good idea. <laughs> Maybe I might need to practice these live videos, um, also generate a bit of interest. Um, okay, so just pull the sleeves through the armholes. One and two. This is almost as difficult as dressing an actual three-year-old. So there is a robe, as you can see, the neckline's just about line up. Okay, if I just stand up and then take the shawl again, just arm holes through. That's one and two. Okay, this one actually sits on much nicer at the back doesn't really have to be perfectly neat though. 
and then your belt. So pull it nice and tight around the waist. And there you have it. Easy as pie. And now we have two shepherd's costumes. So easy. Two more to make. No time at all. No stress, no fuss, no nothing. If you would rather um, sew things down, that's fine. Um, I'm probably going to just add some stitches here and here, just to keep the cardigan shawl in place. And I will probably trim a bit off the bottom because that's really long and we don't want anybody falling over on stage. But there you go. How easy is that? Doesn't matter how bad your skills are at making things, you can definitely make this. Let me know how you get on and share your pictures. Thank you very much for watching. See you later.